welcome to Science for Schools. Today we're going to look at electrification by induction. So, first of all, what's electrification? Well, you've probably seen it before where you have, say, a plastic rod like this and you use a, a cloth to rub it. You say that the rod becomes charged. Either the electrons are jumping off the rod into the cloth or it's taking electrons from the cloth and becoming charged in the process. And you can do things like wave it around these bits of paper and suddenly they're flying all over the place. And that happens when something is charged, and even though the paper is neutral, it's still affected by this charged object. Alternatively, you can take something like this. This is uh, just a metal sphere that's been insulated by this uh, rod here. Uh, so if we wave it over paper, nothing happens at all. The, it's neutral, the paper is neutral, so nothing happens. You need at least one thing to be charged for anything interesting to happen there. So we move on to the induction part of this, that is electrifying or charging something by means of another charged object. So I'm going to create my charged object as usual, just give it a rub with this cloth. Um, the idea is if I bring this rod close to here, then that messes with the electrons on this sphere. And I then touch it, the, the sphere can then uh, take electrons from me or give me electrons depending on what way the rod is. I can move my finger remove the rod and hopefully this should now be charged. And if I wave it over the paper, you can definitely see there's something going on there. It's a bit less of an effect than just the charged rod itself, but there's definitely some kind of charge in this sphere. Now we can see the effect a little bit more if we use another charged rod. Neutral things don't interact with charged things all that well. There is some amount of interaction, but it's pretty minimal. And so I'm just gonna top up this rod, get it charged again. It was already a little bit charged, but I'll just make sure it's still there. And so we know charged things can interact with neutral things. So if I can just put my finger here, and you can see there's a little bit of an effect. It's pulling on the plastic rod just a little bit. It's pretty, pretty minimal. And you'll have pretty much the same effect with this sphere because I've neutralized it now. There's, there's not much of an effect here. And I can, Stop that swing for a moment, you can still see very minimal effect. But if I take this other charge rod, I'm going to just top this up as well. And you can see, oh, there's definitely an effect here. I mean, look at how much that other rod is spinning now. And I can try and block it from spinning by pushing it the other way. So charged things will affect other charged objects much more than they will neutral ones. So I can just do this by induction again. So take this rod and charge it up. A nice big charge. So once again, bring the rod close to your metal sphere, ground it, so it can take electrons from me or give electrons to me depending on what way this rod is charged. Move my finger, remove the rod. And now this hopefully should be charged. And yeah, you can see there's definitely way more of an effect than there was before. So. This sphere has been charged by induction and it's having way more of an effect on this charge rod than it was when it was neutral. So there you go, electrification by induction. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.